What's up, guys? Um, here's the $25 hood. Fits really nice. Equal on that side. Equal on this side. I gotta pull this fender out a little bit. And then the bump stop on this side is a little bit higher. <clears throat> it's got a few little dings in it. Like right there. Like right there. But other than that, it's a lot better than the black hood that was on it. Um, the fender's messed up, same place mine is. I can still beat on this and get this out and do some body work on it, make it look half decent. Uh, the bumper looked good on that. The bumper's good on this, but it has these, you know, license plate holders in it. But I'd like to get another one. Yep. Dog's blanket. I like to get another one. I do have clear corners for this. I got a stick in it sometime too. But I think this fender's good on it. This door is good on my car. It has a little bit of a on the edge here. A little bit right in there. But the other door has a little bit of rust on the bottom. And I think this white car has good doors on it and a nice hatch as well. This one's got a good hatch as well. But Thinking about getting that and the interior out of it. The interior didn't look too bad. It had one little rip on the seat. And uh, looking for a few more things off of it too. I gotta get this thing going. I had it running for a little while and it wants to cut out up top. And I think I found a wiring problem in the alternator. And I should just go ahead and buy the alternator relocation kit for this car and pull that wiring out but i probably should pull the wiring out first and see if i can fix it my theory is it's probably the alternator wire going up in it because this was blown on this car so i have to say it's got a bad point in it and what it's doing it's like it's when it gets warm and you go to smash into the gas about 60 200 rpms it wants to cut out and just fall on its face and break up like just fall like dead like kills power almost and um I'm thinking it's that it does have two cold step spark plug in it so i do have some new fives out of the accent that were never used so i'm gonna put them in there these actually the one eights come with a one come with a four step so it'd be one colder plug um fuel pump i have inside and i do have a fuel filter so and i do have an extra coil pack so those are the things i'm gonna change on the car one by one and see if that's what it is but uh yeah hopefully we'll have this thing going here before too long um i really like the white hood i'll be getting a carbon fiber hood for it as well so i don't know how long that's been out of focus but yeah it's not too bad and the catch cam we took it off it kept blowing the freaking dipstick clear out you can see like the oil it blew everywhere uh blue oil out the bottom all out of the top look at that so we got rid of that haven't had that problem ever since it's like it created more here's these brand new spark plugs we're going to put in that too now this oil is from when i did that compression test they're brand new so we're going to put them in there in the 1.8 into this car this one does have a cracked windshield too. It's like impossible to see it. Oh, no, you can't see right there. Actually, ooh, that got worse. It's up at the top now. Didn't used to be that bad. But I think that car has a good windshield in it as well. I'm going to try to take as much parts as I can off of it because the RDs around here are hard to find parts for. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can off the car. Um, it's not as good a shape as this car is. This car don't have a lot of rust in it. It has like its little dings like right there that needs to be fixed. And right here, this dent right here. But I could pop that out. Take the inner window well out. It'll probably, fender well out. It'll probably pop right out. Or my suction cup can get it. It looks like it had good lights. I do have good lights for this too. I just got to get this car out. And clean up this whole area in here. So I can use my stove and whatnot. Get that all cleaned in. And I gotta get the other garage still cleaned out yet. We gotta get that done so we can use both places because all my tools should be over there and my engines and transmissions and everything should be over in that direction. My fuel and, you know, 
antifreeze and all that should be over there. But yeah, we're going to get to this. We're going to start working on this some too. And the accent. Um, I really want to get this car to DD it for now. I will turbo it. Um, all my Hondas are going to be turbo. That's for sure. But uh, as far as these poly mounts are concerned, they're in the car. Um, you do have to pry on the bar to, uh, and the bolts. Like pry inside of them and get them in and then pry on the bolt a little bit and knock them in. You gotta do the back one first and then do the front and you gotta have it bolted in to do it. It's kind of a bitch, but they should settle in from the engine movement back and forth. Which is barely any now, but they will settle in. So the next time I take this out to go put the Beta 2 transmission in, should be a lot easier. Um, they are definitely great guys i'm talking i can tell a million difference i mean we got shifter cables in these cars but man the shifting is insanely a lot better it's smoother it goes into third gear like every time real easy uh, what happened is this car would come rearing up and i think it would bind everything in the transmission because the transmission would rear with it and bind and uh, not make you it make it harder to shift. It'd be, be harder to get it into gear, and it would I don't know. It it caused a lot of issues, and I can tell you one thing: it's a major difference, major difference. They are a must to get. eBay catch can. Don't even think about it. Poly mounts are a must to get. You guys can make your own as well. I thought about it before, and I probably will make the side ones here, and here, because I want all four. Um, there is 500 horsepower Tiburons using these mounts with no issues. It's plenty. Everyone's saying it's plenty. It would keep the, the noise down, but, um, what else was I wanted to tell you? Yeah. eBay catch can, no good. Poly mounts, a must. Um, let's see. Okay. You guys see those. Uh, shifter right there and there's bushings in there well I'm gonna get those next those are the next thing we're getting for the car and poly too to help the less slop in the damn if anybody has ever drove one of these you know what I'm talking about the slop in the in the linkage it feels like there's slop or in the gear shifter when you go to you know first second third fourth fifth whatever and that tightens it all up so we're going to put that in there next. And like I said, I'm probably going to make this one and this one myself. <clears throat> I have the old one here to take it out. And my other parts car has this one. So I'll mess with them. Um, other than that, just an update on the poly mounts. eBay catch can, no go. And the new hood for this. Plus we're getting a carbon fiber hood for this yet. But this car is starting to turn around a little bit, don't you guys think? Starting to turn around. And we will get to start working on this a much more. I got to clean everything out of here, get things organized. It's about to be winter, so I got to get everything cleaned up and get these cars put in here in the right positions and get the old stove fired up so I have a little bit of warmth. But the cold really don't bother me. Uh, I sweat like hell when it's above 60 degrees. And under 60 degrees, you just put some clothes on and I'm fine, so... And I don't have no wind in here. I mean, I have these tarps and shit, but it does a really good job. I do need to, like, seal that in there. And I just use duct tape here. And I mean, it's ghetto as fuck, guys, but it works. And whatever works, works. That's all I give a shit. Just like my uh, ghetto towel holder. Hey, works. Oh, I can't wait to get this car here going. I know uh, the accent, I want to get it going as well, but... Um, I like my Honda. I really like my Honda, but I want to DD a fucking Honda. <laughs> These are what I work on all the time. These are what I know the most of anymore. I forgot most that I know about DSMs, and we're going to start getting back into that, too. The first gen is going to be next year for sure. I got everything to build the motor. Maybe I'll have the money to get the motor, you know, the block done and everything and get the... The head done but i don't know i'm thinking next year guys for that and 
I got a lot to buy for this, and this will make me go broke this year, and it always does. But it, it's not like it needs anything ever. It's just I want to upgrade it all the time. And it this car is just getting better and better and better. Once the LSD Mega Squirt gets in it, and I'll let you guys know what I'm going to do with the engine when it gets. When I do it, you guys will know it. Um, but. We're going to get some more stuff this year, and it's going to be, this car is going to be, it's already a fast car, but this thing's going to be, it's going to be insanely fast. I forgot to fix that, but it must be still be working. See that pinched? That's just oil blowing around in there from, I don't have that one on. Vent to the world, but this car is going to be really quick. The accent's going to be pretty quick when it's done, but I'm going to put the accent back to NA, guys. Until I upgrade everything out of this. Uh, the Mega Squirt will go into that. Probably. I don't know. The Mega Squirt might just go into this. I'm a Tiburon guy. I bought the Accent to make it as a drag car. So I don't know if I'll ever, You know. I'll get to the Accent. But I'd love to get this car on the road. You know. First gen. Second gen. I know they both call them first gens. But this is a second gen. I mean. Look clearly different but all right guys done rambled enough throw a couple pics in here of the poly mounts what they look like underneath and guys buy them they're they're great if you want to make your own make your own but i'm telling you he does a really good job on them they fit in perfect and a little bit of persistence you can get them up in there and like i said usually they settle in and i got i'll let you guys know when we tear this transmission out they're much easier to get in the car but yeah i'm excited about getting this back on the road and this going and the accent we're going to try to do all three of them costs a lot of money to do that good thing about both of them is they can both get the hand-me-downs from this and make them both run and maybe the accent will get this bottom in who knows what i'm doing all right guys have a good one thanks for watching and appreciate everybody that's uh subscribed and hope you guys enjoy 25 dollar hood not bad